and welcome back to Dark Souls part 35 and in this part it's Sen's Fortress. You can tell by all the boulders in the background that we can't see. And Gerda had asked me a question off screen which the video ironically corrects both of us on that the lightning spear is an attack thrust type weapon which deals thrust damage if you're really into thrusting. We like to do the I nice little that the high five. Spear was, in, was one of the spells of the game. I thought so too. It sounds it sounds exactly like a Dark Souls weapon. It's a spear made out of lightning. We're learning. So I take it the enhanced properties of this particular weapon are that it's a very fast spear type weapon. It's yeah, that's pretty fast. And fast weapons naturally are attractive because speed is king. And that's why I think that Dark Souls is the inferior between Ow. And that's why I think Dark Souls is the inferior with Bloodborne, because both over-the-top bullshit traps and a tendency to favor speed, even though the shield is supposed to control the game speed. So you're not going to teleport out to restore your Estus Flax because you will just end up fighting all these enemies again. I must that are press not worth it. onward, despite adversity. Fuck this level. <laughs> of course it doesn't open from this side. We're not allowed to have shortcuts that move that way. If I had a nickel for every time I got tripped up by that door on replays. <laughs> There a boulder coming? No, there's supposed to be, but there isn't. This uh, we're uh, moving. Oh, you see, there isn't a boulder coming. Nope. See? Uh, there's no, uh, oh, there's no that's boulder. The, the receiving portion of where the boulders are. Boulders from heaven. And... Okay. All right. Uh, so this I... is really just a pig. This is yeah. really just a, a pinball table then. Basically, yeah, there's a, there's a pinball wizard at work. There's a boulder wizard, it has to be a twist. A boulder wizard's gonna make me pissed. <laughs> Floor trap, called it. Um, God damn it! <laughs> yeah, you see, your roll doesn't actually disable your uh, your lower hitbox, so um, yeah, that was gonna happen. Yeah, and that looks like a that looks like an enemy waiting to happen. Yeah. Okay, you, he's just another decoration. Oh, okay. Yeah, challenge accepted. Gotta die of something, I say. Oh, I think that that dude up ahead no is trying cloud. to kill him. Putting, uh, putting your shield in front of you will not make this easier. And I think that's when I realized the depths of the coverage of these pendulum axes is that it's... There, there is no safety. The answer is... Go through. You go All through the one shot through. or you die. That's right. There's a dude. Snake people, snake people, and behind snake you. people, snake people. Uh, oh, please get me out of here. I've learned quite enough. It's a scary lesson. Damn it. <laughs> and you fell down the elevator pit. Because of course the elevator has a pit in it. Underneath? But this is the... This is the elevator that is unsafe both on top and below. That's a lot of blood. There's your exit. Son of a bitch. Hey, I actually made it, I actually made it with Falestis Flask. Well, yeah, all you had to do was 
killed the same two enemies that you've been killing, as well as uh, uh, make it to the traps, which, you know, you've gone through the traps four times now. You should be at least decently competent at them by now. Decently competent, but not much less difficult or punishing if you fail. <laughs> for um doofy I do like this armor set it's lightness and it's resistance to fire make it a really good uh, combination now if only you could get in range to do a charge attack on, uh, on the set warriors. two large titanite shards I like the I like that the Sense Fortress Warriors are basically like big human size. You can backstab them, you can parry repost them, you can even kick their shields down. But they're snake people. Alright, so what's the next major trap that we have to deal with? It's what do you get when you cross a tightrope with a butter knife? You uh, get toast. Oh, and bullshit. <laughs> oh, it's the granddaddy of them all. You have to solve that guy right over there. Because if you don't, he's going to create real havoc for you. You see, he's going to shoot you down, motherfucker. Oh, I wonder yeah, where the, I wonder like where the fake chest dude. got the idea from. Uh, but here's the thing. The uh, light crossbow doesn't do enough damage uh, with your current stat build to actually make this fight oh, uh, reasonable. Wait, wait for it. Down you go. <laughs> Fuck that guy. I shot him off the platform. That's that. That is good game design. I would. I have to chuck that up to one of Dark Souls' major successes. Is good game design and enemy positioning. No, it's not. You would. You would need a. You would need a ranged weapon in order to go through there. And, exactly. Uh, so go like get. So go get a ranged um, weapon. <laughs> okay, but a majority of the rest of the game does not actually have. You, does not actually force you to carry a ranged weapon with you. Well, the rest I of mean, the game. Throwing knives, but not actually. But we've not seen you use them. Yeah, the, most of the rest of the game also doesn't put these fucking bullshit pendulum traps everywhere, <laughs> or necessitate True, throwing knives. But it, you know, it does it does similar environmental traps uh, like these pendulums, just not in this, de just not with this uh, density or recursion. <laughs> On the subject of recursion, there. We are we are learning that Dark Souls has fewer and fewer scruples all the time. Especially doing like once per game type shit. <laughs> Hello. Mm. Um, Alright, so these are the fire giants that can throw uh, fiery bolt, uh, fiery explosive boulders at you, right? Precisely. Did some call me John? You go over these okay. guys? No, there actually Gerard it's, did. It's, fire, it's fireballs. It's uh... That it burns, it hurts, and roll over and squirm. Oh, Jesus. And this is where having resistance to fire has surprisingly useful applications. Well, not if you're actually good at the game. Uh, keep moving. <laughs> this guy has surprisingly good accuracy. No, he doesn't. The, uh, the, the game coding is just having the boulder spawn. Uh, spawn above you and uh, above, uh, above where you are. And then, uh, having the, the am, am I? I'm going to die. No, you're not out of bounds. You're totally yeah, out of bounds on these dead. platforms. They are, after uh, all, platforms. Damn it! No, and now I'm getting killed by traps that occur earlier in the fortress. Um, to clarify, that oil and firebomb trap—it's—it's it's basically a gigantic firebomb in like an oil canteen or something. It is an object that is thrown by a character, and that character's AI is set to throw that object wherever you're standing, basically. Well, z zone by zone. Except he doesn't actually throw it, it just spawns above you. 
No, no, no. He he throws it. You you can see it go through the air. I I know because he he There's makes he, he makes a special cameo during a a very dramatic moment during this game. And he's he deserves an Oscar, best supporting actor. You see, you can tell that this one's a normal one because it's surrounded by three different walls. No, it's... Uh, Alright, that's more fire resist. Yeah, that's right. It has been my pleasure to seek this perfectly placed game object. Let us equip it now in order to save our asses and our bacon. That's... you don't want to take off steel protection, you want to take off the other one. No, I want I want to keep my blue tear stone ring because that thing has saved my ass like more times than I can count, especially during boss runs that were successful. But the blue tear stone ring only activates when you're on low HP. You the want to switch out? You want to switch out to it uh, when you're you know at critical health? No, you can't, dude. You can't switch your rings in the middle of a battle. Have you seen the menu system in these games? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll grant that, but a major, but even a majority of the boss arenas have safe zones that allow you to actually do a perfect moment. Yes, I agree. I think that the prudent player would rely on their hotkeys and their current equipment settings, not count on doing... Not, not, <laughs> not doing the Belichick, let's switch the special teams crew and the offense in the same fucking fourth down play and fuck the other team up. <laughs> Hello there, shining silhouette. Mm. Ah, fuck it. And you you failed to sneak up on the other night, so now you have to fight him. Yeah. One oh, hit well, kill, motherfucker. That was not one. What? What? Only that that was it? it? I mean, sure, but it's because you were attempted and failed to sneak up on him, and he's a lower power enemy from earlier in the game. I mean, I, I, I think what happened was I, I hit the joystick too hard. So many mysteries for this blind player. What is up the top of the tower? More knights. Oh, that that is. It's a, knight, it's a knight archer. That that is a yep. That is oh oh he's got the repost. Oh boy, here we go. It's go time. Which is interesting because that that's a uh, that is a very small um, uh, shield, although he still has a heavy roll. Well, that's the that, so that's the buckler. The buckler is is a very effective parry weapon. Actually, he should have parried that, but instead he died. And with it, and with his death, we get. Regards with you, Ungald. That is a weapon you will probably never use because you are not a uh, you are not a fencer class. Okay, so one of these two chests should be a mimic. One of these chests does a big long. I'm gonna guess it's the one on the right. The, like I, I have yet to identify the exact aesthetic difference to tell, to tell the difference between two, which is probably they give, which is probably why it's, which is probably why you can aggro the chest before you try to open it. Because the, there is no difference between these two. Oh, and they were both no, real. Uh, they are, in fact, both, uh, both chests. The rare ring of sacrifice. sacrifice. I love the rare ring, except I used it maybe only once during this entire playthrough. The rare ring says that if you're wearing it, you die. If you die, you lose nothing. Um, it undoes the curse. Actually, that that's probably that's probably what the rare ring of sacrifice is designed to do. So if you get cursed, the getting curse sucks, by the way, because it cuts your health in half. And if you die while wearing the ring, you keep all your souls, and it nullifies the curse. But the ring is destroyed. Okay. Uh, have we encountered uh, have we encountered curse yet? <sighs> Not sure. It's definitely a thing in Dark Souls Three. Oh. That shit sucks. I don't think we've actually encountered Chris yet, honestly. It's probably a good thing we haven't. Da 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 da
da, 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 da. <laughs> See, he's not throwing it at you, it's just spawning above you. No, I swear to god, he's throwing it. That motherfucker is no, he has a an, very no, accurate he has the animation that says he's throwing it. God damn it. No, it, there's an animation for him throwing it, but that's not actually what the, what's going on with the coding. The coding is just having it spawn where you're standing. No, 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 no. Where no, you no, were when, no, the, when the way. animation triggers. See, you see why I like the blue tears no ring grenade? It's because if I wasn't wearing it, I would have died right there.